introduction and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Um, and we'll follow right along suit as we stated. So um, we'll go from there. All right. Um, so hello everybody. Welcome to the Advanced Branding Collaborative. I'm Robert Wall. Today is March 25th, 2020. And we have uh, a really awesome topic today. Topic of discussion that quite frankly, I think there's only maybe two people online right now, maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, that are actually considered experts, if you will, in this field. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about handwriting analysis. Now, I can tell you that a year ago, I knew nothing about handwriting analysis until I had the pleasure of meeting this beautiful lady up here in the corner, Lorianne Campbell. And she's taught us a lot of different things about uh, handwriting analysis, right? Uh, today, we're gonna have the opportunity to grab your pencils and, and, and a piece of paper, uh, not just to take notes, but you're gonna have the opportunity to actually send in or hold up your signature and have a quick little analysis based on your signature. Uh, I've already had this done for myself, and I can tell you for a fact that it's about 99% accurate. And the reason why I say that is the 1% of error is just because I don't wanna admit that Lorianne is correct probably on that particular topic. But um, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, Lorianne, just as a quick little background, she's part of the Advanced Branding Collaborative. Um, we, we've done a ton of different masterminding together. She'll, she'll tell you more about herself and how she got involved in this. But from my understanding, even though it kind of came in phases, She's actually had a passion and an interest in handwriting analysis since she was nine years old. So maybe she'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, at nine years old, I was playing with GI Joes. So, um, but anyways, this is very fascinating. Again, I'm really looking forward to it. And just from your handwriting, uh, you're gonna be able to identify five success traits about yourself <clears throat> and quite frankly what's interesting about this is characteristics is that your handwriting is linked directly to your mind right and so just by altering and changing a couple things a couple techniques you can actually improve in certain areas that you want to improve in and then you can actually um, uh, essentially change other habits uh, that you may have in your personal life so with that being said today's all about handwriting analysis Lorianne, it's your show, and we really look forward to this. It's going to be a great time. Thank you, Robert. This is great, and I'm so excited that Doc is on here tonight because this is really important to me. Uh, Doc and I both are uh, handwriting analysis lovers, and uh, I met Doc through Handwriting University, and truly is, uh, I'm just going to, Sorry if I do a little bit of this, I have to admit people, we've got three Rodneys and I'm not quite sure why, but anyway. <laughs> so, um, Bart Baggett was one of the big reasons why I actually ended up, well, he was a huge reason why I ended up becoming certified and everything, but at nine, yes, uh, it was a big thing. I'm going to set up a presentation right now. I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna go through this. So, uh, bear with me as I do this. Um, and I think I'm at the very end of it. Let me just stop sure for a second. Sorry about that. No problem. And as actually, as you're pulling that up, for those that may have questions throughout the presentation, um, feel free to, uh, down below on your screen, there's a little chat box. Just click that, type in a couple things. And if we don't answer it right away, we'll get to you. So, um, that's just a good way of doing it. A lot of times we'll just raise our hands during these things. But while Lorianne's doing the presentation, we don't want you to forget maybe some important questions or points. Okay, so we're going to do this and we're going to share my presentation. So I'm gonna do this now. We're gonna start from the beginning. If it does it, there we go. All right, so this was for our startup. Uh, this is presented by, I've already been introduced, don't need to know that. I do want to introduce Bart Baggett, and like I said, Doc and I met through Bart, it was wonderful. Um, this gentleman is just amazing. He's ahead of his time. He's got 
he's an author, Success Secrets of the Rich and Happy. I highly recommend the Magic Question Book. I've read all of these. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into it, but please look him up because uh, seriously, he is not just a mentor, but he's a really good friend of mine and docs and somebody who will always move you forward and uh, you learn so much from him. So the next one, uh, we're going to be going on through this. I've been a speaker, a trainer, a teacher, author. Um, Hampy's my book and I'm working on one also, a couple of them. Uh, that are coming on. Um, I took my PRISM life design program with Bart as well. Um, and I'm actually finishing my master's and doc is a big part of that as well. But a big part of this too is this presentation. I'm very, uh, and, and I'm very nervous because I haven't done one on my own before. So thank God for my friends here. Uh, my branding, advanced branding collaborative. Uh, group that I met up with. They've been super in providing support. It doesn't matter when, uh, whether it's business, whether it is uh, mindset, whether it's whatever, uh, this is what we're here for. And this is what I love them for. So let's move into this. Um, what area of your life do you want to improve? And who do you want to be? So your handwriting is a big part of that. But let's start with this. First, I will ask Roy, can you please, uh, we're going to ask everybody to introduce themselves and give us your, what you want to discover today. And you've got 30 seconds and Roy's going to be monitoring this. So go okay. for it. Yeah. I'm Roy Miller from Dallas, Texas, and I'm interested to find out what my signature says about me. <laughs> okay. So next we're going to go with, who wants to go next? Leslie? So my name is Leslie Crosrano from Detroit, Michigan, and I'm interested in finding out what my hand, my signature says about me. Perfect. So we're going to go with Lisa. Hello. Hi, I am Lisa. I actually just started the certification program with handwriting analysis myself. I'm also a certified professional hypnotist. And I already know about my handwriting. So Lori and I talked about it the other day. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Wendy. My name's Wendy Mush and I'm from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And I too have already had my handwriting analyzed by Ann, but um, I will tell you that it's very enlightening and it's pretty true to form. <clears throat> when she tells you about yourself, that's like, oh yeah, she's right about that. So. I, I think it's pretty uh, right on and everyone will appreciate either getting confirmation or finding out things that they don't already know and then can work to change them. Thank you. And who wants to go next? Doc, how about you? Doc, you already know your handwriting. <laughs> I think I know it. Yeah. Hardest thing to do is yourself. <laughs> um, of course, when you're perfect, it's hard to do anyway. Uh, <laughs> but but um, I'm from La Crosse, Wisconsin, and I've been a certified handwriting analyst since 1976. That's about it. Okay. So I, I'm a little bit short on my screen here. So who am I missing? I know Robert and Kelly. I love it. You both are here together. We yeah. kind of talked last Be night. <laughs> before we go, Rodney... Um, can you want to introduce yourself or do you, can you switch back over? I saw your face a minute ago. Yeah, I've um having reception problems here. Oh. I've, I've reboot and, but anyways, yeah, I'm interested to find out about my signature. I'm Rodney Wolford from South Carolina and looking forward to better myself through my signature. <laughs> and, awesome. Uh, <clears throat> and obviously I won't uh, introduce my, my partner here. I'll let her introduce herself. But again, I'm Robert Wall. And um, I'm from South Carolina. One of the things, though, for myself is, uh, you know, I'm very familiar with NLP and some of the other things that are geared to um, improving your mindset. It's kind of one of my areas of, uh, of, of expertise. And so all these other things that tie into it, right, hypnosis and now handwriting, I'm very excited to see how all that kind of comes together and how I can actually use those tools to improve myself. 
And I'm Kelly Wall, the wife. <laughs> never the than. wife. Sorry, sorry, never the wife. Not a <laughs> much thing, more okay, than. honey? <laughs> much more than that. But I was very intrigued about the whole thing. So I, I heard a little bit about it last night, and I knew that she was into this before, but it's just very intriguing to me to see uh, how maybe I can change myself through my handwriting. So it's pretty cool. Nice. Thank you. And thanks, everybody, for joining. And I'm looking forward to this. So what we're going to do... A, don't forget oh. about Jenny. Oh, wow. See, that's why I needed my moderator. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. So, hi, everyone. I'm Jenny. I'm living in Australia in Brisbane, and I'm a NLP master coach and hypnotherapist. And I'm really interested in finding out more about handwriting because, uh, yeah, just, you know, I'm really into personal growth and really like Rob said, how to better myself. And yes, I'm really interested in finding more about how to, uh, up, oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> finding more, sorry, my brain is just not working. <laughs> finding out more about handwriting. There you go. <laughs> and thank you, Jenny, because I was feeling the same way, <laughs> but we're gonna get through this. <laughs> um, Laurie and Lisa's, Lisa's on the phone also. They're on the call. Lisa Owens. Yeah, Lisa. Yeah, she she introduced herself. I'm sorry. No worries. Uh, that's actually okay because that's where I'm trying to see everybody, but the screen, I should have just actually opened it up at the time. Um, but are we all good? Has everybody introduced themselves at this point? I just didn't mention I'm from Calgary, Alberta. Yes, Canada. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Okay, so let's move on to the next. What we're going to do is, um, just to get ready for it, whoever wants to do this, we're going to be doing the uh, print, uh, sign your name, print underneath it. Uh, we're going to be moving into these five little segments, and you're going to see whether or not you have the trace or not. But eventually what you can do is we're going to have a moment where you're going to hold it up to the camera, and I will take a screenshot of it. Um, Doc might too, and Lisa might too, and you can, you know, come in with whatever you have as handwriting analysts to bring into it. Um, and then we're going to have you, once we discuss it, see if we can change it a bit if it needs to be, and we'll go from there. So we're oh, talking yeah. about, sorry? B before you continue, um, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm hearing a lot of rubbing or something so can everyone make sure that they've muted themselves so that we're not hearing your background noise please okay i hope it's not my background noise i i don't think it is either. now i hear it shuffling like a shuffling yeah yeah i i think it might be rodney okay yeah, Rodney, on your on your um, your phone, just see if there's a little mute button um, when you touch the screen. Little microphone. Is that okay? Yep, that worked. Perfect. Okay, so we were talking about um, handwriting. Signatures are part of your your mind that works into your hands, and I mean. If you really want more, Doc will tell you exactly what it's all about. But I do know that like if you're driving a car, you know that you're going from A to Z, you're not even gonna think about what you're doing, you just do it. Same thing with your handwriting. And your mind actually connects to your, um, your hands and it doesn't even matter. If somebody actually loses their hands and they, can, and they end up writing with their uh, toes, believe it or not, they'll still have the same characteristics in their handwriting, which is really interesting. So with this, it'll connect, and it's what we were talking about. We have uh, our next session, which is gonna be with Wendy and Jenny, uh, where uh, the handwriting also works with uh, NLP and, and hypnosis that we get to know you, and at the end of those sessions, you're gonna actually see a difference in your handwriting. Really interesting. This will be for our next segment, but I just wanted to put this up for now. Um, there's two paths that you want to take with this. You can do a personal development if you wanted to pursue the handwriting analysis uh, for yourself. 
Um, it can also break through, they say your money and success blocks, but a lot of other blocks, anxiety blocks and such. And you're gonna go on a professional path with it. You can also uh, establish rapport. In the professional path of it, I'm not gonna go through all of it in great detail either, because I wanna move on to our working together. Um, but I will say to you that understanding relationships, clients, business partners, and coworkers is really, really big. Uh, that is probably one of the biggest things in the industry. Uh, personally, I actually have signatures come across with me every day in my work session, and I can tell whether somebody's very detailed. So if I'm going to talk to somebody uh, about their needs, I'm going to know whether they need to be spoken to in a detailed fashion or if somebody's written really big and they're every day, they don't want to hear about the details. They just want to know what's going on. Uh, so it gives you a connection to people and it also connects you to people just on a daily basis. Like you sit there and you're just looking at their handwriting and they're going, how do you know that? Uh, most people talk about the weather. I get to talk about handwriting, which is really cool. So next to this, um, here's what we get if in a handwriting in a signature it's not as huge as if you can get a paragraph of somebody writing definitely not but you can get clues to it so you've got the 10 hill traits nine success traits the signature clues the five traits to avoid i'm not going to follow through on all of those today but what I'll say is that those are available in anyone's signature if you take the program and get to know more about it. But we're going to go through a few of them. So let's go. Here's the first one. If you sign your name like that, please stop. Because this is something that is what they say, a kind of a hatred towards yourself. They call it self-sabotage. Uh, personally, I like my name too much to strike it over. And some people will do it because they feel they're afraid that their signature will be forged. Uh, there's other ways of doing that. But some people will do that automatically. And if you see that, there's something in that person that's hurting. There's something that they're going to hurt themselves from that hurting because they're striking against their name. I'm sorry, but seriously. Nobody wants to strike through themselves unless they're really hurting. So that's something that you'd want to ask somebody, please change that. Can you please take that line? And this, the, this one here, I really like because it has a beautiful A, a very quick thinker, fluidity of thought, but intellectually, no, actually not even that because a, a philosophical but strikes through it. If she put that under here, that would be a nice, a nice signature. So that's not an idea. This one here too, if you look at it, um, my mouse will go. This one goes back and forth and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That is somebody who's seriously bothered by a lot of levels back and forth. So please, that would be something please to change. This one, I recognize, I used to circle my name, only I didn't even write it out. I just circled a big circle uh, during a hard time of my life. Definitely somebody who's very protective. Um, if you open that door and that channel, then you have more opportunities out there. Um, if you read over here, there's that encycling lever, uh, encircling your letters um, will cause problems making friends uh and protective um and if you circle yourself you make sure uh you get yourself out of it soon seriously it made a change in my life when believe it or not it was before my handwriting university courses and i already knew about handwriting i was selling a car at my house and i had to circle it i didn't want to do it and the guy said to me he goes well wow you're protecting yourself and they're going yeah uh, I thought, wow, you're pretty cool in this. Open that up. You don't want people to be doing this. This is interesting with John, though, because he does have the desire for success. That is a sign of it. But he also has self-deception here, which is the, if you see this, John, the O going that way on that side, he's protective, self-deceptive. 
these are things you'd want to change. Next, oh yeah, don't sign your name smaller than you write. Um, it really basically means that you don't give yourself credit for who you are. And uh, it's what they say at the very end here. I don't like to use the slave ego, but too big is too egotistical, too small is that. And that's not a good, um, it's not healthy to feel that way. Uh, increase it. Your, your signature should be larger than your writing unless your writing's really huge, <laughs> but then your signature should be equal to it then. Uh, so that's something else to look out for. And then this one we see everywhere. People, I have too much to do. I need to, to do too much. I don't have time. I'm just gonna put a line across it. This is really interesting here if you look at this and Bart, this is from his, his, his university. And it's true, if you look at it, I've seen it over and over again. If you sign like this, people are gonna see you as untrustworthy, as something that you're trying to hide, as deceitful. Or you can look at somebody that's really busy, but in the essence of it, um, you're not showing your true colors. I don't know who you are, what's your name? So if you write me a card and then you sign it like that, but you don't print your name under it, I won't know who the heck you are. Uh, so. These are things to look out for. Uh, okay, I get it. You've got, at one point, you've got 100 checks that you have to write and you get tired of writing your name. Don't get tired of writing your name. It's not gonna do you any justice. Um, and you wanna show the world that, you know, it's like it says, uh, showing the world the best side of you. And I love that line at the end of that. Uh, and then, big one for me, I see this a lot too. Uh, don't underline your signature backwards. These two people are really interesting because they definitely have, you know, ambition, um, determination, definitely. This is determination. Uh, and, you know, this means, you know, I'm going there. But then all of a sudden, this S goes backwards. So it's moving you into the past. You don't want to do that. Pick up your pen at the end of your name and then go back and go up that way. That's success. That's the desire for success that will change your life big time. Uh, you don't want to go back to the past and it might be something that they're frustrated with or something, but your mental state will change if you change that line, which is really cool. Um, now we're going to have fun. Here we go. So this is where I want, a couple of my handwriting people to come in. We've got Doc and we've got Lisa. So what are your thoughts? Be gentle, please be gentle. <laughs> We're gonna first get to I, you guys next, but this is good. Doc. Do you want me to go ahead? Okay. First of all, just wanna clarify something that there's three parts to the handwriting. There's a, there's a body of the writing, what you write, that's the paragraph. Then there's a signature. And then there's a personal pronoun, I. It's, we're the only language English that has one letter that represents ourselves. So when I put my signature down, there could be 5,000 Dave Grayson's, perish the thought, in the, war, in, in the country. But when I make the personal pronoun, I, there's only one. That's only I, Dave Grayson. So the, the body of the writing is who you really are. If we want to analyze the writing, that we analyze what you have written. The signature is how you want to appear in public. So if the, if the signature is the same as the rest of the writing, what you see is what you get. If it's different, then you put on a, a false front. But that's not necessarily negative. You know, movie stars, TV stars, TV personalities, sports stars, they all have these real wild signatures, because that's who they think they are. They're really somebody important, so they make them. That doesn't, doesn't diminish them, it's just that's important. Their name is so important that they want to glorify it. And then if we look at the personal pronoun I, that's how you feel about yourself. You can have a real good signature, because we're gonna help you make your good signature, and that's important, that's your brand. 
as much of a brand as Walgreens or Target, your signature is. Um, and many people will just automatically look at the signature first and they don't realize it, but they often get kind of a context out of what it's, what it's about. But uh, the personal front on I really says how you feel about yourself. The signature doesn't tell us that. It tells us how you want to appear to others. But it's a very important thing to have a good signature <clears throat> because it just gives you credibility. And like Laurieann said, make sure that you can read your name. If you can't read your name, then you're not, you don't feel comfortable with yourself. You feel like, I don't want people to know I'm Dave Grace and I'm kind of embarrassed or ashamed or afraid or I was in prison for 10 years or something. They don't want you to know something. So that's often why the signature is, is uh, hidden. But um, if we look at these two signatures, um, Robert says much more of a flow to it. Uh, I would say more, there's a little bit of musical talent there. Um, the, the R is nice and big, robust R. Uh, he's very comfortable with himself. I'm Robert Wall. <laughs> um, and, and that's important to him. He may think he's a little more important than his brothers and sisters. That's not necessarily negative. It's just how he feels about himself. Because I want people to know I'm Robert. I'm not Tom or Mary or Susan Wall. I'm Robert Wall. <laughs> and on Kelly, uh, it's kind of interesting. In, um, in the first, uh, the double L's tell us two things. Notice in the first name, Kelly, the, um, the, the two L's, the second L is lower than the first L. That's diplomacy. You're, you're, you can deal with issues without making them blow up. In fact, you'd be good at moving in and calming the issue or uh, balancing between two different people when there's a discrepancy. Now on the other one, the two L's, the second L is taller. And you can have these conflicts within a handwriting because sometimes you're one way and sometimes you're another way. Now that is self-consciousness. For you, doing what Robert does, getting up in front of people all the time, would be much more difficult for you. It's very natural for him, but for you it would be much more difficult because that's not part of your inner being. That's, oh, I'm, I'm nervous or scared. Um, and that's when the second L is higher or the second E is higher or the second T is higher. That's self-consciousness. Mm, mm. Absolutely. Hey. <laughs> Doc. Yes? Look at Robert, though. Mm. Yeah, that is yeah, he good. does that. Yes, but yeah. but notice they're they're. But because they're of made, this, it overtakes that, right? Right. They're both made differently, though. It's almost like two different letters. Mm. The, the L's aren't their L's aren't consistent, uh, like in, in Ke Kelly's. They are. They're almost identical. There, he wrote two different letters. So he, he's a fast thinker. That's part of the reason he does that. He just yeah. more scribbles his, his name. And he probably signs it a lot so it deteriorates a little bit, like yeah. a doctor's handwriting, because yeah. they sign their name all the time. Yeah, it that isn't that there something wrong with them. It's just that they sign their name 500 times a day, so they have a, a glitch they sign instead of, a yeah. instead of really a name. OK, so I can have him sign, like, 20 times and I can see that that won't be because Bart got me on that one mm -hmm. he says my signature is great but my L my first one is lower than my second one because my second one to me is a finale yeah but they're telling me that I'm I have which I do probably have self <laughs> conscious issues sometimes but it was it's not the in my mind, it wasn't the purpose of my final L being bigger than my first one. Mm. To me, it was like, I'm finishing. Sometimes on my last L, I'll strike it up a little bit as well. I didn't do it in this one, but sometimes I actually strike yeah. it up. Oh, Can I ask a question about Kelly's name? Sure. Uh, I'm just curious, and maybe it doesn't mean anything at all, but her eye is missing. <laughs> she has a dot, but she doesn't have the letter. Right. Is that, is that in, of any significance? Uh, no, I think it's just kind of the quick writing also. 
She, when she prints, she printed it, but with writing, printing is a slower process, so you have to take more time and more caution. When you print something, you don't like to repeat it twice. They, there are people who like to, they make it clear the first time. I'm printing it so you can read it, stupid. So it's nice, <laughs> nice and clear. Where with their signature, it's just kind of a fast thing, and, yeah. and you have to kind of uh, adjust sometimes with some things in cursive. But it's brain writing, whatever affects the brain. That's why your signature might change three times a day, 10 times a day. It's what's, how your brain feels. If you wrote a check uh, for a $500,000 home, your signature will look one way on the check. If you signed the back of a check from the lottery for $5 million, it would look totally different because wow. your mind frame is totally different. Good analogy, yeah. What would you say about printing um, I know that this is kind of a, a male trait from what I've heard, uh, more so, not saying it's only male, but um, when I print a lot, over the last few years, I've just kind of developed most of my stuff in capital letters. Um, I know that seems bad, and I think it's it's considered to be a bad thing. I'm not sure. What, what are your thoughts there? No, not really. Printing is um, people, again, like I said, they want, they don't like to repeat things. I told you that already. They like to be clear. They're the engineers, the the architects, the draftsmen, the, mm. the very precise people, because they want you to be able to read what they say. I, I was a teacher. I used to tell teachers, if you get a note from a parent and there's a, a line or two or a paragraph or a word or two that's printed, ignore the rest of the letter. Only worry about what they print, because that's the only thing that's important to them. Mm. Um, so that's what that is. It kind of slows the process down sometimes, but yet it's a more methodical. You, mm -hmm. you do step A, step B, step C, D, E, E. You're more um, processed in how you do things. Mm -hmm. Well, I can, I can relate to that too, because once I got in my industry, I, I quit writing. Everything I did was printing. I, you know, I'm like you, Robert, all capital letters. Yeah, a lot of times that's how I write. <clears throat> Funny enough, in my industry, I've done the same thing. When I actually write a lot of things in my work orders, I actually do that. And I'm in a mail industry, <laughs> but focused, yeah. mathematical kind of thing. But any other time I print. Now, here's the thing. Okay, so we're going to move on. But the reason I did the pen, because we wanted to see the size of the handwriting. That's why the pen is there, just to let you know. If somebody's going, why do you have the pen there? Um, I spoke to them yesterday as well. Uh, again, a signature is only just a tiny part of it. Right. But to me, it does speak to it. And, uh, you know, I was telling, and by the way, Doc, I did say Robert feels a lot more comfortable with his first name than his last name. And he actually- Well, you can read Robert. That. There's no, there's no question you can read Robert. That's why I said Robert. Right it's the first thing I said. He's very comfortable. <laughs> in his own shoes okay so we're gonna move on because i don't want to yeah. go too long but we've got the next one is wendy and this one here i think if you don't mind doc uh i already did uh, a session with her so i would like your input on it i know that you have some sames as me but i have some differences from you but that's all part of our you know learning curve but it's always nice to get a second opinion. Can you go, please? What musical instrument do you play, Wendy? I don't play a musical instrument. Do you have an interest in music of some sort? I mean, I played the saxophone when I was in school, you know, for a couple of yeah, years. Well, and that's what I meant. Yeah, there's a tendency then to joke. If you look at the name, it looked like it was written on a line paper. It was Perfect. not. I promise you it I wasn't. <laughs> no, I know it was. That's why I said it's music, because that's rhythm. To do that, anybody try that, to try to get your each word down on a specific point on a line, that's very difficult. Most people get it, even on line paper. If you look at your, most people's write a line paper. Some, some words are a little bit above the line, some below yours. It looked like you wrote a, put a line, wrote your name, and erased it. That's musical talent. That's rhythm. You, 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 you have a pattern of doing the same thing every day. I could, I could know at 7.20 every night that kitchen light goes on and I know it's 
Uh, you go to work the same way. You do think you're a very processed person where routine is very important to you. If you get routine taken away from you, it kind of panics you. The other nice trait I like is that last T in your name. Um, I don't have a T. It's an H. What's that last letter? It's H. H? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Still, a stroke is a stroke where you find it. That's initiative. You probably don't go to bed without making sure the dishes are put away and everything's organized, and then you'll go to bed. So you just like to have things in place, organized, um, nice follow through, which is which is great. Um, Rob, why are you laughing? <laughs> no, we were just saying that is very straight. It looks like it was written on a on a straight edge. You know, <laughs> it does. Right. I write right. all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I don't write. I'm usually going up at an angle, so that's fine know. too because that's optimism. That fits with yes. your with that writing very much. The other thing is sometimes you're you feel oftentimes that the world is caving in on you. Of course, right now with all the problems that could be, but that's where there is no space between the letters at all. You you just you're worried about things. There's a lot of pressure on you at this point. Um, that's even funny. Your, I said that to print. Roy earlier. I said that to Roy earlier. I said, while we were going through our presentation, I said, because uh, we were asking and he said, well, why? And I said, there's, there's no disconnection. But if you look at this doc, even in her printing, there's, there's very there's little not. disconnection. Right. Notice only that, right? The name. Right. Only doesn't, between the names. Yeah. But, doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. But, I noticed but, that. But that's like feeling the kind of world's caving in on. Yeah. Uh, and there's no, and then remember, there's a lot of times you can't do anything about this. But if you know that's a situation you have, it helps. Sometimes you don't know why you're under pressure, but you just feel it. But if you know, well, that's the way it is, you can adjust too. Okay. So we're going to go to the next one, Doc. Um, and Lisa, chime in. Uh, and then we're going to go to the people who want their signatures. I hope that you're doing it. Blank piece of paper, please, while we're waiting here. Uh, sign your your name and print it underneath. Sorry, um, Jenny, I didn't get your newest one up there. But yeah, I can, I can uh, I'll just write it down if you want me to. Have, I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, just put it up to the, um, but did, no, we, oh, that's how you actually sign? Yeah, that's my first name. As well. Oh, no, no. I wanted to see your signature. I wanted you to print your name because this was your signature. We like your signature. We want your name printed. <laughs> so what other people were just, this is our last one between these ones that we, we got in. And then I want to see yours so I can do yours. Okay. Um, and I'm, it's wonderful that Doc is here. So there you go. Everybody look at that. That is what i'm going to do a print screen here that's uh we'll do jenny's first well we're gonna we're gonna go through here is uh yeah and i don't want too too much time because we have some some guests here that i want these were just sent to me in advance um okay I'll so jenny just, okay so jennifer she, she everybody just, see her her printed versus her no all we see is uh, that but <clears throat> it's, it's kind of get out of her way She's got to get things done. She's kind of like a, a snow plow. She's just going to get through things, get at things, go after things. It's a big signature, so she's pretty confident in herself. That long line at the end that's going out is an aggressive stroke, which tells us that she's just going to get what she wants to accomplish, she can accomplish, and she, she probably will. Now, Doc, I also noticed too here, she actually puts her Jenny and her signature here into her last name. Oh, no, There's that's just my bit... last name. That's not anything. That, that's just my last name. Oh, so that's not even your no. J? No, that's my K. That's a K, right. Yes. Okay, but sorry, but I thought literally, I thought that this was, oh, interesting. I thought that was J into the calls that looks what i looked at ah interesting no no it's just my right that's what i thought and then the little protective here protection very cool I just, it's very artistic 
Yeah, it's a it's a take charge uh, signature. Yeah. And that's that's very positive. That's very positive. Okay, and then we've got Roy. Uh, kind of gets hard to see. Roy is um, he he likes to work on one project at a time. He he doesn't have like to have a lot of little things going on. Finish one thing, get to another. But he's great at concentration. Uh, to get things done. He's opinionated on what he wants. That's the big stroke at the beginning of the M, opinionation. Um, is that Jay for Junior? Yes. Roy? Yes, it is. Uh, well, that's important to you. You're, you're, that part of Junior is very important to you because look at how large it is compared to the rest of the writing. Super large. Thank you. <laughs> so Roy, 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 how do you feel about the Junior? I hate being a junior. It's a pain in the he butt. He keeps saying that, but it's so, big in his handwriting. So it's the biggest thing. Ever. Yeah. So why do you why do you make it that big? I, I, if, I you, don't know. if you dislike it, I just I just write my name and just go, you know, throw it out there. But no, it's a pain being a junior. It could be a pain, but but again, as I said, the signature is your brand, and maybe for some reason that constitutes a good finish for you. Um, so that's not necessarily who you are necessarily, it's who you, how you want to appear. <laughs> and, and I think it's, I, I like the J at the end. Kind of makes, <clears throat> kind of makes your whole signature stand out. Yeah. I actually told Roy, I said, you know what, I think that you should have Jenny and Wendy together and put you in hypnosis and find out that there's a junior there that actually matters to you because it's big. Right? <laughs> and you said it. I I literally was bugging him about it, and he refuses. He goes, "No, I don't like it." Really, you don't like it? Then why is so big? <laughs> I think it's because whenever he was in trouble growing up, his mother called him Junior, <laughs> and she said it was such authority. It's it's ingrained in his brain. No, uh, my family, all my family calls me Junior to this day. All my family. There calls you me. go. That's why he doesn't like it. Yeah, hey, I just no. want to say hello, Charles. Thank you for joining Hi, us. Hi, Lorraine. Thanks for, thanks for inviting me. I didn't know about this until I checked my email, and I'm like, oh, gosh, look what I'm missing out on. <laughs> I had to figure out what day it was. It was happening at night, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> Charles, by the way, is also part of Handwriting University. He's actually taking his master's. We're really glad to have him. He's from, well, introduce yourself, because I can do all of that. <laughs> yeah. I've, uh, I know, I know Robert Wall. I'm not sure if I've met Roy Miller. Hi there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in the 501, uh, class. I'm a 301 graduate. So, um, I know Doc and Lorianne and, uh, and the whole handwriting university group. And, and so we're so, just here. We're just finishing up this part and you can join us in our next one because we have now some new guests that we're going to have. Come on. Um, it's time to talk about uh, who you want to be. So are we ready? Who is ready to, I'm going to stop sharing this because I'm going to have to get people. So who's on board, who has their handwriting ready? Perfect, Lisa. Okay, so we're going to go. Now I'm going to have the rest of you chat while I'm going to be doing, and Doc, you can chime in, and Charles and everybody that wants to do this because it's all fun that we know this, but we have meet Doc and Charles who's been there. So you're going to get a lot of really good feedback on this. So, um, I don't know see. if I want it. <laughs> Lisa, can you put your, can you put it up to the camera so I can take a print screen of it and thank you. Just give me a second here. Cause I've got to put these. Um, Lisa, that underline, was that just for the sake of this or do you actually put an underline? No, I've started to put the underline with what I'm learning in the course well and from talking to Lori. Okay. It's just a habit now. I sign my name and the line goes under it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So give me that. A, a, a straight line is authority and a curved line is humor. Just so you'll know the difference. Thank you for that. All right, let's wait a sec here. All 
Okay, so we're going to do that. And... Perfect. Okay, and then we'll get Leslie. Do you want to share yours? Whoa. Oh, okay. Let, hold it up for a sec. Okay. Someone's in a hurry. <laughs> All right. So I have uh, anyone else? Charles, do you want to put yours up there? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys chat, and I'm just going to put these on. Now, I don't know, Doc and Charles, did you get those? Did you check them out? Do you want to give some feedback? I'm um, going I just to them kind of briefly. Um, are are you are you going to be posting them here for the visible? So yeah, I don't know. They're perfect. not perfectly perfect because they're copies from on here. But just give that's me a second. That's all right. That's all right. It'll give us something to look at. So sure. And then, all right. Let me. Um, Rodney sent his to Ro to to Rob, I think, and yeah, Rob he, put it. He did it on live sure? paper um, at the time before he got disconnected. He's having a a lot of problems with the computer. So, but if you could take a look at it later, Lorianne, it's I in said, the chat in the A A A M C oh. chat. Okay, line yeah, paper does it. It's all right, line paper. That's fine. Okay. And anybody who wants to, to send them in, I can still give you guys the information that. Uh, we can do definitely. Um, people who people who use line on. it's not a problem. People who use line paper usually tend to follow rules and regulations. That's yes. why they use line paper. If you use online paper, you're more abstract because you can pull the paper any angle you want, write anywhere you want, makes no difference. So it's the mindset to start with is whether you choose lined or online. Now, if you choose a pencil. You don't mind making mistakes. If you choose a thick marker, you're one who I never make a mistake because you can't can't erase it. So kind of what you choose. Then you can get into colors, but that's all a different story. We won't get into that. Well, I can already tell you with, with Leslie's signature, she's going for like an Oprah, a prince, something just big and powerful, right? Like, uh, I mean. Uh just, just out of curiosity, did you always sign that way? I was just curious, or did you start to create that as like a, almost as like a logo or a brand? That, no, it's because, I mean, my last name is so long. Robert, oh. that's, not, that's not a logo. If you look at Oprah, you can read Oprah. If you look at anybody's, she has to change it so people can actually know what her name is. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it's really cool that you think that, but as a handwriting anal analyst, and yeah. a signature makeover, make yourself over, girlfriend. You're beautiful. Make your name out there. And if you want to shorten it to just your first name with the last initial, whatever, but make people know who you are. You're beautiful. You're there. You're successful. Oprah didn't hide her name. And yes, she just used her first name. And sometimes I just use mine, Lori Ann, because I'm Lori Ann Campbell and it gets boring sometimes. I'd rather have Lori Ann accessible to people to know I am Lorianne, that write Lorianne Campbell and it's all scrunched and they don't know who the heck I am. Mm. Sorry, well, but true. Leslie, maybe you are just be Q. I'm being what? Just be Q. Oh, Q. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I, that, that handwriting is is not eligible so let, let's we'll put it up on the, here let me see if i can do this now just let me put this together here which, which i would keep that signature for your checks because it's very difficult to forge yes. but i certainly would try to like laurie said, try to just change your signature a bit so you can read the even the first name is important yeah so if your first name is more important to you, make sure that it's known. Like Robert's very clear on that. His second name may not be as important to him, but his first name very much is. And that's okay. But make people know what your name is because when they're gonna go up to you and they're gonna look at, so if you have, let's say a book. Oh, wait a minute. Um, yeah, I think I just do L and Q, that's it really. Sorry? I just do an L and a Q. There, no, we I want think, Leslie Q. Yeah, well, no, I'm saying right now what how I sign my name is really my initials. <laughs> yeah, 
then no one's going to know you that way. Mm -hmm. So this is something that really means a lot to me because I used to do the LAC and it was all in a big circle. Nobody ever knew who I was. And when I got into Bart's group, it really taught me to go Lori Ann Campbell. And then I went, Whoa, it's so long. So I will do it in certain instances, but if I don't have the time, I'll do Lori Ann. So people know I am. And then just to see at the end of it, uh, and Kelly and Robert and, and Wendy and Jenny, Jenny, no, Jenny didn't have her first name, but she, even her last name's a little bit hard to know, um, hard to read. Uh, Roy, uh, his last name's kind of a little bit hard to read too, because he's missing a Miller. <laughs> but it, it's, it's like, if you look at it, it's really interesting. And if you look at it, internally which is what i love to do is go wow yes doc you're right it changes all the time but there comes to this we're talking about branding this is our group this is what we want to do we want to build a signature for us for you that's going to be there on everything that you do so leslie i know you've got a beautiful website you want leslie q or you can put L, your last name, but I think Leslie is who want, you want to be known as. Your first name is the most important thing to you, and most people it is. Hmm. So if you don't want to write the whole thing, at least write your first name. And, and the Q at the end of it's fine. That'll give you, you know, it's, you're not just Leslie, you're right. Leslie Q. So anyway, this is all fun. It, it, it's, it's interesting to me, a uh, signature when I look at them, when I look at somebody who signs something really tiny, 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 uh, just to tell you, I know that they're going to be very detailed. Uh, we're going to talk about that in our future sessions about how to work the, um, the signatures and the handwritings and roles of relationships of business of actually even you know, you think about it. If you want to hire somebody, you want to know if you actually get along with them. So with that, I am going to post, if I can do this here, we're going to share again. It's not very clear. I do apologize. Um, but I'm going to share my, if I can go in. Okay, hold on a second here. I got to go smaller here, go to paint. And then we'll get the opinions of Doc and Charles along with mine. But here we go. File, open. While you're pulling that up, Lorianne, I will mention one thing. Yeah. Kelly and I had this conversation um, the other day. It was, it was a while back. And one of the things that she had mentioned about her signature uh, is when women have to change their last name, and they're, they're completely changing the way that they would sometimes connect the first and last name or the way it would flow, you know, because all of a sudden now their, their name has changed. It's a big, that's a big change for, for a woman, obviously. I've never had to, to change my name. So um, I just found that interesting as we were talking about that. That's kind of funny. It all depends on that one, by the way, because in my case, I was really happy to go back to my, um, to my original name to i was glad name. to go back to campbell so if somebody's glad to go back to their original name if they're and you'll actually even see it like um if if i was still my other name my married name i don't know that it would be as happy as the campbell i was proud of it i'm trying to get these up and i'm having a hard time with this sorry and so for me, I traded one bad last name for another bad last name. So I decided I might as well keep the second bad last name and not go back to the first one. <laughs> what, was your, what was your maiden name? In and of itself, it's not bad. But when you put my first name with it, it sucks. What it's was Knight. The trees? <laughs> no, it's Knight. Wendy Knight? <laughs> sounds like an author Wendy of a book. Knight. Sounds like a... Oh, it's nice. Wendy, Wendy Knight sounds like, like an author of a book. Yeah. I asked my mom, I said, so what would you have named me if I was a boy? Oh, and she said, Stormy. <laughs> Stormy oh. Knight. 
actually that's really nice <laughs> my cousin right. is starla my my one cousin is starla and my other cousin is misty misty night so. and starla night hmm. yeah well i i know a, a girl named april moon <laughs> oh. <laughs> i know one named Dee, Dee butt <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and do this if I can. I'm just not being able to. Uh, da, da, da. Why are you doing that, Laura? Laurie, I'm trying Anne. to get the, the. Okay, so I wait, wait, wait. I think I might be able to do this, but you guys are going to have to go into the chat to see them. So we got Lisa. Why don't you just call? Why don't you just open up? Um, why don't you okay. just share your screen with the picture on the back of your screen? Yeah. Okay, because there's like, it's going to be on paint and it's not clear, but if you're okay with that, we'll do it. Or I can hold it up. Yeah. Yeah, try, just I try to share your screen. I don't have the technology that Bart has to be able to do this, although I do, but I don't know how to share. Okay, so hold it up. All right. So Lisa, go first. Show it up there. We already spoke a little bit to that. So... Do you see it, Doc? Yeah, I do. Um, she has a hard time saying no to people. That last yep. S and Owens, very difficult. People, it, it just, it, it's a nice trait in a way because you're very kind and gentle, but you have to be careful not to let people use you. That's so. it, I'm changing my signature. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the whole point. We have to give them ideas of what. And then I also notice that the uh, Owens, it's that not right that that's self deception. Charles, you can kick him. Um, I'm, no, I've that's a capital O. That's too often. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of common to, to go two different directions, kind of like that, or with uh, it's, it's, not really, it's not really a self deception thing. Uh, the L on Lisa there. Um, I've seen a number of, like, uh, well, I'm going to get into Myers-Briggs here a little bit, possibly. But, no, uh, we're not doing that. Not no, today, Charles. Know. We're into, okay. no, it's all about the handwriting today, Charles, please. <laughs> well, that's, uh, I mean, that was the direction. <laughs> Love this <Okay>. guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, this fluidity. She'd make a good writer or a speaker yeah. or something like that. Very yeah. good. She does have really good size, though. Like, let's go to the topics of there, though. Her yeah. first, um, like the the L and the O, they're very healthy as far as ego. And but you were saying though, Doc, that she should probably make the line straighter for success. Because it yeah. kind of actually goes a little bit. It should be more words under her name right you mean the underline yeah the underline is a little bit oh, lower it, it, no that's, that's fine just takes practice that's it's just, fine? It just takes practice sure under <laughs> both names is fine because her name is so close together it's all one thing no it's no i'm talking about things. i'm talking about the fact that her name goes this way and the line goes a little bit that way it should probably go it's it just takes practice on that Thank that's all that, that is because i know yeah. she's working on it awesome yeah. So okay. I mean, eventually it'll fall. You know, both of them will follow the same baseline, and and they'll be the same same space apart from each other a little bit. So so Lisa, if you want to try it again and show it to us again in like two minutes, you want to? It's fun, but you can just it, do that. Yeah. But let's it, go with like, Leslie. We I, want to see what I will say. I have a hard time saying no. I am very kind and generous, but I do have crappy boundaries and can't say no. Yeah, that's a very <laughs> strong, very strong trait in you. And I have changed my last name. I used to write it and draw a line through it. Well, this is my adopted last name and I've absolutely hated the family my entire life. And I've just done that some healing. Difference as to whether or not it goes so I've done some healing yes, and for accepted sure. it. And so I've changed it to be more mm -hmm. yeah. out there. Oh, wow. and, and the only thing on the, the yielding, the giving in, just be careful not to be taken advantage of. Keep doing what well, you're doing because that's lot. important. So, yeah, yeah, no, that is definitely that's, a weakness. If you know it, sometimes myself. you can kind of control it a little bit better. Still do okay. those things, though. It's great to do those things. For people. Lisa, there's a book out. 
there's a book out that's pretty helpful for um actually i mean it's it's for uh, people who are more feeling people who are in circumstances where you know they kind of put a target they, they've got a target on them and people kind of take advantage of them sometimes and it's That's one that me. i need to read also hey, it's called Charles. it's called the book of no thank you <laughs> <laughs> which helps uh i mean it helps you to be able to set boundaries and to to make it to where i mean you can kind of look out for you also it's thank just you. It's a little can bit you more put of that deep. in the chat charles for us Good can thing. you yeah because I, I actually before before i make a recommendation i actually need to read it first but i've, I've been it's I've fine that that's what this is about <laughs> okay so just put it in there i would love to get to leslie though because i would like to see a new signature for her and i think that this is what this is the perfect thing that we're talking about redoing your signature leslie are you willing to try that with us you're the you're the perfect person what to do a new signature yes oh yeah that's what it is this is about changing your signature changing your life and your signature needs to be better i've seen your website i've seen what you've done uh, I know that Robert's worked with you on this. Now let's get a signature that's going to make you Leslie Q, if that's what you want to do. I mean, I know your name, your <laughs> last, it's really, if your last name is important, then put everything together with it. But if you're so tired of just writing the whole thing, then be Leslie Q. Why not? Yeah. I mean, so can you do one, sign something, how you feel, put it in a positive way how you feel about you and let's see what you do we're all watching because you're the best candidate here tonight no pressure no pressure <laughs> none at all seriously all right so okay we want to see you come out of the closet and i don't mean it that way i mean it in the sense like you are like get out yeah. and this is you're being recorded it is I, no no i mean that in the best of way like get out of the closet like come out and i i don't okay, okay. oh my goodness can you stop that roy you're making me feel nervous <laughs> but right. here no one's okay. just circled themselves into a little scoopy i'm sorry like no get out i actually mean it that way all right so here well this is the one the best i could do right now Ah, uh, there's no underline under it. There's no oh. up. And the cue is all squished up. Try again. And can you but, do a blank paper at all, lady? I'm gonna have to work with you. Light paper? Blank. Oh, blank. I don't want lined. And how does, does, does she necessarily need a line though striked underneath? She does. You know okay, what? It just she, she wants she wants to have success, right? It just yeah. helps if she does. Okay. It, it's just something she doesn't have to, but it try it. Literally, it feels really good. We just Art did. taught we, me that. Yeah. We the, <laughs> we the problem did. is mine is so long that that line just doesn't feel right. You know, well, it, it, just a line underneath did it. Did you even try though, Robert? Yeah, I just tried. Yeah. I tried a few times while we were talking. Really? About no, it's sometimes it sometimes it doesn't fit people. You uh, sometimes you're you try right to make too. somebody in something that doesn't. So I mean, if it works that, fine, if it doesn't, you don't oh, want to do that because okay. you're creating a monster. Oh, I think that's so cute. Uh, you know what? You don't have to put the line underneath. He's telling me, and you're right. I'm not creating a monster. Actually, I would be creating a monster because with Robert, he already has enough of his okay, self and, and you know what i also have i also have essential tremors so i shake so it's very hard i think that's another reason why my signature is just my two oh that, that's interesting how do you know about essential tremors i've had them all my life basically. because that's in our handwriting yeah Advanced handwriting 501 talks to us about essential tremors right and so now as as i'm maturing they're becoming it's becoming more and more um, yeah advanced no no that's really actually good though uh put that up again and then you know you don't have to underline i'm kidding but <laughs> but that's good though we can, read, we can at least read who you are that's nice i don't know all right doc what do you say you're so quiet you <laughs> let me have it all right you want to hold it up there while he uh, analyzes it? 
Oh, I gotta hold it back up? Okay. Yes. Sometimes it pays to be quiet. Um, I don't have much to say. It's a, it's a good, it's a normal average. I don't see a lot of negatives in there. That's um, what, what about the short L, uh, the second L? Does that mean anything or no? I like this. There's only one L, correct? There, there's, no, there's two. two. There's a the capital first. L and then a small L, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're not together. They're not next to each other. Yeah. Um, th that's all fine. The L, the, the larger capital letter tells us uh, pretty much confident in herself. But notice the biggest thing to me is again, she wrote that on the paper sideways. You know, most people write with eight and a half and 11, with eight and a half going up and down, but she turned it sideways and wrote it. She did the same thing with the signature paper. So tells me she's very independent and she likes to do things her way. Uh, <laughs> you know, Frank Sinatra, I'll do it my way. So there's a lot of um, creativity, ingenuity, and uh, self-promise there. I like that. Um, Doc, or anybody, the E and the Q, both the E and the Q, they both strike up. I know a lot of people strike, I mean, like, see how they curl up. So what would you say about oh. something curling up? We know that one, Doc. That's a, that's a fine ending. There's, uh, they wouldn't say much of anything. There's no hook on there. If there was a hook, she, uh, there's a couple things. If there's, if there's a straight line going out, that's caution. They, they don't jump in the water until they put their foot in there first. But that if depends it, on the length of the end. Like right, if it goes straight out, right. It goes out to here. another letter, yeah. Yeah, too many things. But there's nothing, at that, there's nothing at that ending. It's very uh, abrupt, sharp, quick. She, she finishes something and she moves right on to, yeah. to the next. She doesn't have to make a big, long issue out of the anything. She doesn't Leslie, would you any... say that Warren um, would agree that you like things your way? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what, Doc? You're absolutely right. When I'm done, and, and unfortunately, it's like that with people, too. When I'm done, I'm done. Right. I don't need to rehash. I don't go back. I don't, you know. How thick is your writing, by the way? How thick, how thick against the paper is it? Do you, is it? Is it hard writing? No, it doesn't look like it. Mm -mm. No. Well, that's interesting, because usually it's the that's deeper the awesome. writing, the less like they're going to get rid of, like, if it's light, then you get rid of things easily. If it's, if your pen is a little bit harder, that's when you don't, you hold grudges, too. So that's another uh, no, side. I, I don't that's that's more emotional so. thing. She's, she, she's just yeah. saying with everything. If it's, right. she finishes something, she moves on to the next thing. It's yeah. not yeah. emotional involved I in any way. Emotionally, yeah. There's no yeah. emotional attachment. And, and unless it's a, been a deep issue, but yeah, if it's, if it's done, it's done, it's ran, then I, I move on to the next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very independent, of course, you know, single mom for a long time. So yeah, so that's very much in my DNA. Cool. Mm -hmm. So Leslie, are you, are you currently married? No. No, she said single mom. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah but my children, are, I, but I've been in a long-term relationship for 15 years now. Oh. But not married. But not married, no. Okay. But I was married twice, so. And because I didn't get my way, Doc, I, I ended it. <laughs> yeah, you'd be, um, yeah. I won't say anything. <laughs> I'll be good. <laughs> Doc's like, now I know why you've been married twice. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can have the other thing that that's why I've never been married after my first one because I'm like you and I thought there's no way I'm going through this again <laughs> yeah no my way or the highway mm -hmm. no joke that's actually a joke but um you know we all have it but that's really cool thank you for sharing and thank you for that essential tremors like somebody was asking about that and they didn't know that it was in the course um and it is in our course uh, that's interesting mm. yeah and it just is it's what it's called and that's not a problem. So we're waving. Roy is waving at me. What are we waving at? Are you waving at somebody or me? Stacy. We're waving at Stacy. <laughs> wave real quick and then go have fun. All right, wave. Wave at oh. everyone. We're waving at Stacy. See, we oh, need to we notify go. people. Okay, so.
at least we see your handwriting. Now we know your name. Your first name is Leslie, but just, it doesn't have to be on everything, but it's a good thing to get out there. So we're just going to finish this off. I'm going to go back to sharing. This has been really great. I really enjoyed everybody's yeah, participation. Cool. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> like literally. I definitely um, want to get deeper into this at some point because it's very interesting. It's fascinating. And, and we are going to be having those, right? We're going to be going further with that. I just, you know what, all of this stuff, we know this. Um, if you do learn about this, it's going to help anybody who's in this kind of industry. But even in any industry, I know this. Like you can boost your income, you can get fast. I don't want to do a sales pitch here, but you can talk to anyone. It's They say 100% accurate. Yeah, kind of, but not because people don't want it to be. And then boost your confidence. So if you do go on our website, we'll put this on here. You do actually can get access to all this through Handwriting University if you want to learn more about it and deal with your customers with NLP. I literally, it's been a life-changing thing for me. Um, this will be on if you go to uh, this site. We've got it, 628, 197. Don't want to do the sales thing, but if you go to IamThatGal.com offer, if you want to pursue it, but I will tell you, this gentleman here, he's done incredibly well. And I'm very proud to say he is Canadian. Um, he's done very well with this program of handwriting uh, anal analysis. And how you can combine it is so many things that we already did that. Um, I am so excited that we have such an amazing group here tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that we're going to be doing this for the next... We have another uh, three episodes of this, and uh, I five episodes. No, no, no. Can you before we go? Can you let everybody know what's happening next week? Okay. At this point, I've been working all day, all night on the presentations. Roy, can you tell them what's happening next week? Because well, you have it on your calendar. Let me, let me look on the Google Calendar. I'll get this is, see our handwriting? Yeah. This is how we work here at the Advanced Collaborative. We right. got Roy with the calendar, me with the creative, and we've got Robert with the introduction, Wendy and Jenny with like, just absolutely keep us like real. Like, can we get this all together? So yeah. <laughs> Roy, while you're pulling that up, um, Lorianne, I did have one question though, or something okay. just that we have it in the recording. So for the course that you've obviously heavily discounted um, for that $199, what, um, you're gonna get really in, in depth in that, right? In other words, it's not just about a signature now, or people will it's, be writing paragraphs or? It, okay. It's actually, the 101 is really interesting because it just, uh, actually Lisa did it first, but if you're really, yeah. Really, I bought it. it. I bought it, and I didn't do it. I ended up buying three hundred one right away because as soon as I just started the very tip of one hundred one, I was like, "Holy hell! I need to buy this course. I'm getting certified in this because there's my calendar." I'm excited. Girl. Holy I'm hell! As ex <laughs> I'm as excited about this as I was when I started learning hypnosis, and both of them together yeah. are going to be powerful. Yeah. Awesome! I'm like, on this that. lights me on fire. Like I have fireworks going off inside of me. My like, oh my god! <laughs> But no, really, seriously. And um, I, I wanted to share you guys because I said to you that I started this when I was nine years old. Seriously, these are the books that my mother bought. This is how old they are. <laughs> you, you will get these though, Robert, in the package. It's the 50 trait cards. So yeah. you're learning basically 50 Yeah, the 101 traits. though, if you want just, yeah, just the basic, uh, yeah. but it does give you, you know. a lot. You get all these and cards that tell you. Like me though, we got, and I bet you anything Charles was too. We, we really get, I'm sorry. It's almost like, I don't want to call it an addiction, but it almost is. Yeah, it is. The more you know, seriously, like the more hypnosis. you know, the cooler it is because the more you know people and people don't like you knowing them. So even by a signature, you know them and they go, Ooh, my gosh. But my biggest thing too, I had my son with a girlfriend. And I had, I did a compatibility report with them. I didn't want to tell my son stuff because I'm mommy, which is the hard part. But yeah. ultimately, I'm not joking. I found her signature to be like overly possessive and my son wouldn't be able to deal with that. Yeah, they broke up. 
a year later for the exact same reasons. You can also look at the big things. Like, I mean, there's so much in the handwriting, like hiring somebody that you want in your culture. So Robert or Roy or, or, or Jenny or Wendy or whomever, if you want to hire somebody that works with you, last thing you want is somebody who's got handwriting are saying, yeah, I want to take you over. Sorry, Robert, really, you don't want anyone to take you over. <laughs> um, but you want somebody to either be like, literally, seriously, sometimes you want somebody to be your, your right hand person. And if you see that there's somebody that's really competitive, and that's going to push you over, you don't want to see those traits in the handwriting. So you're going to hire somebody based on the fact who you are, who you're comfortable with. And I don't know how that started. Why do things like that happen to me? Uh, but this is uh, this is what we're talking about. I know this is the second time that happened. It's it's got to do with relationships. If you want to go out with somebody and you're just and meeting them, um, it's not to say that they're bad or good, but if so, there's some writing that we've seen that are really crazy, you don't want to be with that person. Or if you are in a relationship and you're having problems, you can actually do a compatibility report and saying, okay, where do we need to work it out? So many aspects in this. We're going to talk about them all, but it's what I love about handwriting. There's so many applications to it um, with NLP, with, um, with, hypnosis with knowing your customer before they come in just it's it's a beautiful science i am i i've been in love with this since i was nine and i thank god for bart baggett for having handwriting university and meeting doc and meeting charles and the and lisa because lisa you came on on board too through our connection um and it's also like us it's all a big family that just we know what we're doing um yeah you know, it's very and fascinating and I'm, that because, but it's really something that's powerful i'm looking forward to seeing the next couple of weeks just so it you know we're going to get more in depth more information yeah. um and it's a topic quite frankly that's not overused meaning that you know a lot of times you'll join webinars and you know for the most part 80 percent of everyone is speaking on the same topics right mm -hmm. This is something that's very unique. Um, I think it ties in perfectly with mindset and all the other things that we're, we're doing and we're involved in. And, um, and, and really slowing down, quite frankly. Like, just with what we've done, this is going to make me start thinking about the way I write and the intention of how I actually write. So, I like it. And just, to let, just to let sorry. people know, Lauren, I have a 20-page book about handwriting that shows quite a few different things that I pass out at all my uh, lectures, which I don't give anymore. Um, so if anybody want to email me, handwritingdoc at gmail.com, I'll send them an e uh, copy of the, or a PDF copy of the book. You can also send it to what's on the screen as well that we'll have. And yeah, doc, that's awesome. Um, hey. The other thing too is anything. Doc, can you can you type your email into the chat, please? Sure. And any of the um, programs that you want to join up, if you want to go further with it, uh, like I said, I am that gal .com backslash offer is there. Okay, so that's that. that's um, I am that gal. Yeah, I'll com. write that in too, because that's actually under advanced collaborative. Yep. I'm offering this under advanced collaborative. Mm -hmm. um, the, the discount that we have, we actually have one. Um, let me go. Sorry. Hey, Doc, I have a question for you and or anybody, but I know, Doc, you have um, talked about your faith before. How would this help me as a faith coach analyzing someone's handwriting if they're struggling? with um their walk well, okay doc we took prison we know this all together and so does charles right you really want to uh use it as part of helping somebody don't advertise it necessarily as handwriting analysis but use it in your what we call graphotherapy you change your writing to change your life 
Uh, that's a big part of the 301 course. They teach you most most of the uh, groups, AHA and IJS and AHAP, which are the big ones, don't teach graphotherapy, but BART does. And so graphotherapy is changing people. It's really coaching people, change their, you know, raise their T-bars to increase their goal setting or not to make such rounded S's so they don't give in so easily, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and you just find, and you don't necessarily have to, you have them do the process of changing their writing, but, but don't make that the focus, make everything else the focus. Yeah. Le yeah. Can I, Leslie, can you ask that question again, just quickly? Yeah, so I was just curious on how I could use it as a faith coach, a faith coach to help someone in their walk. Maybe they're struggling with their relationship with God and, or, you know, they just don't know. And so with analyzing uh, uh, their handwriting, is that something I could use to help me? Uh, just like another tool. And how would I apply that to And to what faith? do you use at this point as far as your faith there? Like, I'm just... I don't. Yeah, it, well, it's mostly just really, it's just coaching in general. So having that um, For the faith. partnership re relationship and coaching conversation, asking those, um, you know, open-ended, powerful questions that get them to start thinking. And um, right. you, with handwriting, you almost don't have to do that. You can get their handwriting before you ever see them and meet them and know more about them than most of their yeah. friends do and more yeah. even deeper things about the friends. So yeah. you know all kinds of things about them before they even, you know how to approach them. Do you approach them face on or do you go around the side or do you let them talk? Are they big talkers or sell you the store for nothing? Uh, or are they very the quiet because they're go, contemplative? All doc. that handwriting will tell you that. How to and approach doc. them. And doc, you've got to understand something really important for her is that there's the philosophical loop. So she's going to know just how much they are open to philosophy or not open to philosophy because she's talking about faith. Yeah. So that's going to give you a really yeah. big insight to that, Leslie. I can see that being a You know what? That, thanks, Loria. That's exactly what I was talking about, is whether or not a signature can really tell me are they internalizing Jesus' love or are they just talking about it? No. Okay, the signature is no. It really not. was. It really Sorry, Doc. I just say it really wouldn't because that's how they want to appear. That's a fake thing sometimes. Okay. Just like just like you're going to do Leslie, but it's not really you, Leslie. You're making this up. You want okay. to look at the body of the writing, what they write in the grocery right. list or their letter to their friend. That's going to be the true yeah. person, and you want to work from that copy. The mm. signature will guide you, but you really want to work from the major copy. Got it. You need you need a bigger sample of it, sweetheart. Yeah. But but that's interesting. That. You you have my email. Just yeah yeah you know, yeah. Have to ask them a paragraph. Perhaps perhaps ask them to write you a paragraph yeah. on where they are with their faith. Yeah. And no no, paragraph, no 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 no. You ask okay. them to write you a letter about something. You don't want them to think about what you're actually speaking about. So it could be like, just, you know what, can you write me something? I always say to people, just write me something because they're not thinking about it. You don't want them thinking about what you're asking them to write. You want them to just write to you. Like, can you like write a love letter to your boyfriend? Or what did I say, Roy? Write a love letter to Barbara and send it to me and I'll tell you yeah. what you're... <laughs> yeah. But the point is... Copy a paragraph about... out of a magazine or a newspaper. He's... Right. He's not thinking... You don't want them to be thinking about what you're looking for in their handwriting. Right. Because if you Cause ask about philosophy... And they write about philosophy. You're going to see big philosophy in their right. handwriting because that's because it's brain writing. That's what they're thinking. Right. Got right. It. So you want them to just write. That's it. Period. And then, uh, yeah, you, you know, need to help, yeah. you know where to find me. Yeah. So anyway, okay. guys, this is awesome. I don't want to go too long. We are supposed to go. I knew we were probably going to go a little bit over on this topic because it's kind of fun. <laughs> but you know where to find me. You know where to find us. Uh, the big thing is advancedbrandingcollaborative.com like we're going to post all of this stuff on there. That's our website. This is our group's website. We work as a team. This handwriting offer that we're giving, this is our team. Uh, we all pull together. 
we're going to be sharing, we're going to be helping. And remember, with what we're going through, if anybody does sign up, we're going to do our best to be able to help whoever needs it at this time um, in our group. This is what we're all about. And by the way, I'm so excited that you guys all showed up tonight because I know that we're going through hard times. Um, and I seriously, I love you all very much. It's, uh, it's a family that I get to be with while I can't go out to be with the ones I can't hug and, and, and touch. Yeah. And, and I'm meaning that for truth. Uh, Doc, absolutely wonderful to see you on board. I really am so glad that you're here because I know that you've got tons of experience. Um, I want to, I want to bug him sometimes though, because we sometimes bump head to head because I don't agree always everything that he says, but I'll agree with about 99%. So that's good. Uh, Charles again from Elko, Nevada, like amazing. I remember living there. I lived in Nevada. He was my neighbor. Thank you everybody for being here. Hi, I gotta go. And Thanks. we're going. Lorianne. Thank, thank you guys. You. Everyone have, thank you very much, Lorianne. We'll talk to everyone real soon. Thank you. And next week, remember, we're gonna be doing another one of these. Yeah, yeah, invite people. So let's uh, let's continue this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Right. Thank one you. more question. Was there something else happening tonight? Was there gonna be another meeting? Uh, no, we're gonna be meeting next week though. So Charles, okay. please join us again because it's going yes, to be about possible. another. If, I, if they don't have me put back to work, I will be there. <laughs> All right, Charles. Thanks. Take care, guys. Okay, bye. Bye.